This video shows you how to keep chipping away a bit at a time in order to complete a diabolical puzzle. We use patterns and techniques and sometimes a combination of both to find difficult numbers. But we keep chipping until the entire puzzle is solved. This is puzzle number 100 from Sudoku to Go, volume 133. You can find all of the techniques and patterns that are used in this puzzle on the Sudoku Primer website. And if I do something that you don't understand while solving this puzzle, leave a comment and I can answer any questions you have. First of all, we have a, a 2 here and a wall pattern here. So we have ghost twos there, so two ghost twos and two. We have a two here already, so the two has to go there. All right. and I have a three here and a three here, and we have a three here, so that's a three right there. I have a four here, four here, so put an easy four right there. Now we have only three numbers missing from row five here. One, six, eight. One, six, and eight. We have a one here and a six here, so that has to be an eight. That leaves one, six twins here. Now we have a 2 here, we have another wall pattern here, so we have ghost 2's here, so one of these has to be a 2, and we have a 2 there already, so the 2 has to go there. Alright, this next number I'm going to fill in is one of those where we have to use a combination of numbers. Well, actually, we've got a 2 right there. That's an easy one. I'll put that one in. Now, we have to use a, a combination of techniques in order to uh, find this next number. Uh, first of all, we've got only four numbers missing in column 3 here. Let's see what those are. 1, 6, 7, and 8. 1, 6, 7, and 8. Now, remember, these are 1 and 6 here. So these have to be 7 or 8, one, 7 and 8 right here. So we have 7, 8 twins and 1, 6 twins here. Uh, so can we do anything with those? Well, not right off, but if we use a combination of techniques, we notice if we notice there's a T pattern right here, and we've got a 1 here that's not already in this box, so we have ghost ones here, so that can't be a one. From our from our one six twins here, that can't be a one. It's got to be a six because of the ghost ones there. So that makes that a one, and we can put the six in for our one six twins there. All right. So that helped us. Uh, we got a 7 and a 7 there, so we know that's a 7. All right, let's look at row 9 and see what we're missing here. 2, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We got a 2 and a 6 there, so that's 7, 8, or 9. 7 there, so 2, 6, 8, or 9. Here we got a 2 and a 9, so that's a 6, 7, or 8. Here we've got a 2, 6, 7, and 8. Oh, we've got all but one number, and that's a 9, so that one goes there. And here, now we only need 2, 7, and, or 2, 6, 7, and 8. We have a 6 and an 8 here, so that's 2 or 7. And let's just look at the rest real quick. 7 or 8, 2, 6 or 8, 6, 7 or 8, and 2 or 7. Okay. All right. Well, now this next number again is going to be one that we need to uh, use a couple of techniques in order to find it. Here we got a four and a four. 
So one of these is a 4 in row 8 in box 9 here. Let's see what we're missing in this column. 1, 3, 4, 5, 1, 3, 4, and 5. So here we got a 1, 4, or 5. Oh, here we got a 1 and a 5, so these are 3, 4 twins. So these are 1, 5 twins, so that has to be a 4, because that's a 1 or a 5. Okay, and now we have 3, 4 twins here, so we have ghost 4s here, so that can't be a 4. We have a 4 here, so that can't, um, that can't be a 4. We have a 4 and a 4 there, so we know that's a 4. Let's see what we're missing in column 9 here. 5, 6, 7, 9. We have a 6 and a 7 in this row already. <clears throat> so that's a 5 or a 9. We have a 6 and a 7 here. So we have 5, 9 twins here. So these are 6 or 7 here. There's a 6 there. So we know that's a 7, that's a 6. All right, and now since that number's filled in there, we've got a 5 there, we've got a loner cell here, and that's got to be a 5. We've also got a 5 here and a 5 here, and so that 5 goes there. The 5 goes there in box 8. All right. Now with that 5, we had the 1, 5 twins here, so we know that's a 1. And so we have 3, 4 here and 7, 9 here. We're only missing, let's see, what are we missing here? 1 and 2, yeah, so we can fill those in. Okay. All right. Now remember our five nine twins right here that we found. Um, we actually put a five right here, and because of that, you remember the T pattern we have right here. Now we have a one and a five in this column that isn't in this box that aren't in this box. So these are one five twins now. So that can't be a five. So we have a five there and a nine there. All right, and now we're only missing, we, we have the, the one five twins here, so we know these are eight, nine twins, and there's a nine there. So that's an eight, and that's a nine. All right, let's look at um, column six here. We're missing one, two, two, four, six. Two, four, and six we're missing there. We have a two and a six there. So we know that's a four. And with that four, we can fill in a four there. And the three that we knew of, the three, four twins there. We still have seven, nine twins there. We have a loner cell right here. Let's see, so that could be a 3, 4, 5, or 8, or it could be one of these two numbers. We've got a 3 there and a 4 and a 5, but we don't have an 8 yet, so we know that's an 8. And now we only have two, three numbers missing here, 2, 6, and 7. 6 and 7 there. Got a 7 there, so we know that's a 6, that's a 7. Okay. All right, with this 3, this one here in box 3, we know these are, one of these is a 1. In fact, we have 1, 5 twins there that we remembered from 
that we recognized before. So that's got to be a 1 there. We'll fill that one out. And uh, with this 1, we've got a 1 here. We've got 1's there, so we know that's a 1 right there. And with that one, we're only missing one number in row eight, and that's a nine. All right, let's look at box five. What are we missing here? Well, we're missing a two here. And we're missing, let's see, one, five, six, and eight. Can we solve any of those? Well, let's see, you've got a one here, so one of these is a one. 5 can go anywhere, 6 there, so that's a 6 right there, and an 8, 8, 8, so you got a 1, 5, 8, or 1, yeah, 1, 5, 8. But we, we have one five twins here, and we know one of these is a one. So using the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles, we know that the, neither of these can be a five. So we know that has to be a five right there. And with that five, we can solve the one five twins here. Oops. Start putting a five there instead of a one. So the 1 and 5 go like that. Now we can solve the 1, 8 twins that we have left over here. All right, now we're missing 6 and 8 there. We have seven eight twins we knew about. We got an eight there, so we can fill these in. We have seven and nine box six here, so we can solve them now. Uh, <clears throat> box four is missing three, five, and nine. Three and nine there, so five and three nine. We're missing five and eight there. And we're just missing four numbers here, two and eight there. And down here, six and seven. And that's it. Well, thank you for watching. I wish all of you happy holidays, and I hope you enjoy the, the Christmas time. We in the U.S. just celebrated Thanksgiving yesterday, and I hope you, those who celebrated that, I hope you had a good time. Um, I'd also like to just ask if um, any of you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button and you can also click on the bell icon to the right of the subscribe and be notified every time a video is published if you'd like to. And if you like this video, please click the like also. Well, I'll see you on the next video.